India begins project to build six nuclear-powered submarines. India has kick-started an ambitious project to build six nuclear-powered attack and ballistic missile submarines that is expected to boost the Navy's overall strike in the Indo-Pacific region. Confirming the launch of the mega-project, Navy Chief Admiral Sunil Lamba also gave a clear indication that Indian Navy was ready to play a bigger role including under the proposed quadrilateral coalition among India, the US, Australia and Japan. In a press conference on the eve of Navy Day, Admiral Lamba also touched on a range of key issues confronting the Navy including acquisition of a range of submarines, warships and weapons systems, asserting that it was ready to face any traditional and non-traditional threats. It has kicked off and I will leave it at that. It is a classified project. The process has started. I will not comment further, Admiral Lamba said, replying to a question on the project. Indian Defence Minister Nirmala Sitharaman has announced the launch of the second indigenously designed INS Arihant class nuclear powered ballistic missile submarine, SSBN, on order for the Indian Navy. India has already started groundwork to develop its next successor with the development of next generation ballistic missile submarine. INS Ariat will be succeeded in the dry dock by two similar SSBNs that have been temporarily designated S4 and S5. S4 and S5 will be armed with K4 and K5 SLBM submarine launch ballistic missile. They will be India's second line of SSBN by the time all six to eight nuclear submarines are operational. On expanding the Indian Navy's presence in critical sea lanes, Admiral Lamba said it was gradually increasing its deployment in Andaman Seas, Malacca Strait, Gulf of Oman, Persian Gulf, North Arabian and Sunda and Lombok. In short, our ships and aircraft are deployed from the Gulf of Aden to the Western Pacific on an almost 24 by 7 basis, he said. Referring to the bilateral naval agreement between India and Singapore providing for deeper cooperation including logistics support, he said similar agreements are being negotiated with a number of countries. We are negotiating similar pacts with a number of other countries, he said adding the Navy has activated the logistics exchange memorandum of agreement with the US by taking fuel at sea from the US three months ago. Talking about modernization of the Navy, he said 34 ships are under construction and projects worth 40,000 crore have been identified for participation of the private shipyards. He said 23 Indian private sector shipyards have qualified for participation in indigenous shipbuilding projects on the basis of their capacity, capability and infrastructure. He said steps have been taken to bolster the aviation arm of the Navy by induction of new fighters, surveillance aircraft and ship-borne helicopters. The Navy chief said work on indigenous aircraft carrier is progressing well, adding he was hopeful that the ship would join the Navy by 2020. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe.